Hello everyone, this is the second video for the liquid glass molecules motion graphics. In this video, we are going to add three more effects to these molecules. The first is the multiple layers, like we have this kind of inner texture inside these spheres. And second, we're going to add this cutout or slice so that we can see that inner structure. And third is the multiple materials. So let's get started. Are we going to start from this node setup that we have created in my previous video? If you haven't seen that video, please watch that. Okay. So first, uh, we're going to remove this text uh, because it's going to distort the inner spheres. Okay. Uh, let me delete this. And this is the radius for these blobs or spheres. Let me increase this to point, point 0.5. Then we're going to duplicate that and decrease the radius to point 0.45. And next, we need to combine these grids. And we're going to use the STF grid boolean node. Okay. Connect that here. Let me go to the wireframe. Okay. And then connect this to the second socket. See, we have this inner sphere. Okay. Here. And if you want to add the third, uh, let me increase it. its radius 0.3. And then duplicate this node and connect this to this. See, it doesn't work. So what we have to do is that so first we need to do the difference for these inner spheres then we need to do the difference for the outer sphere the biggest sphere okay so now we have this inner sphere okay see we have these holes so that is because of this grid the grid from these lines these lines that are connecting the points so now we have to trim these lines properly so that they only touch the outer sphere not the inner spheres okay so that is really easy let me move this to this side or let me delete this and here we are going to add the trim node trim curve node change that to length and here we need to specify the length that we want to trim uh, let me see these lines and for the start we are going to use the radius of this outer sphere that is 0.5 see and for the end we also need to specify that radius but first we need to calculate the length of the spline so this is the total length and then we are going to subtract that 0.5 from this length okay see so if we run the animation so we have these kind of lines and let's see the grid see they are only touching the outer sphere okay and another thing is that you should also enable this fill cap option that i forget in my last video so with that we have these closed tubes this node then calculate the grid properly okay so keep that in mind so now we have this and i think we should also increase the radius of these tubes or uh, maybe four yeah four is fine okay and next we're going to add the slice and for the slice we're going to use the mesh boolean node okay and we're going to place this node after this shared smooth node okay otherwise it's going to mess up the normals especially near to the cutout edge okay then we're going to add the cube symmetry plug that to the second socket so we have this and in this case we want the intersect okay plug that to this and let me increase the overall scale of this cube and then we're going to decrease the scale along the y axis maybe two and other one maybe four and this is also four okay so now we have this cut out but there is problem okay so that is because of this if i disable this see we have this clean cut out uh, but uh, we don't have that smooth surface so with this we have really smooth surface but we have this problem 
uh, we can fix that by changing this method to manifold now we have this really nice cutout and smooth normals okay and the last fact we want to add is that the multiple materials okay so for that uh, we're going to use the proximity node let me add that and change that to points because we have connected that to these points okay so here we're going to generate the mask based on this proximity from the points for this mesh so let me add the store attribute node and then see we have this distance uh, we can add the less than node and then slightly increase this uh, maybe point three i think point three one so that it properly cover the inner region of this uh, geometry and then store that as mask now we can use this mask to add a different material to the inner part of these molecules and similarly if you want to add a different material to these blobs uh, you can sample the different attributes from these points and use that as mask for the material okay so now we are done with this geometry nodes let me go to the shading and let me also delete this and first of all we're going to increase the roughness and also make this clear coat one and here we can add that mask and the attribute node type the mask and we're going to use that for the emission uh, let me change that to maybe red or blue maybe this orange color so now you have different material for the inner part of these molecules okay so this is how you can add a different materials to this and this is really nice you can also animate this cut out let me add the transform geometry node and we can move this You can create a really nice effect with this okay uh, this is it and this is the complete nodes setup and you can get this project file from my patreon page along with my other project files and presets and i hope you learned something from this video so if you like then please like the video and subscribe to my channel for more updates so thank you for watching see you in the next video happy noding bye